Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be showing you an art journal page called Believe. So I'm going to use my art journal book that I got from Paper Chase and I have gone ahead and printed off two fairies onto some cardstock. So first of all I'm using my Deco Art Dazzling Metallic Acrylics. This one is teal and I am going to use my brayer to brayer the paint onto my page. So I'm just using my heat tool to make sure the paint is all dry and my second layer I'm going to use the berry metallic paint and brayer it onto the page in the same way. So a quick tip for getting all your paint off your brayer if you find that it's stuck to the brayer is to use some nail polish remover. So literally just put a few splashes onto a piece of kitchen towel and wipe it over the brayer. I would suggest after you've done this to actually wash your brayer so you're washing off the nail polish remover so that it doesn't eat at the rubber. But it's a very effective way of getting all the paint off your brayer so it's nice and clean again. So going back to the art journal page I'm using my background stamp called Daisy Daisy by John Lockwood. And I'm going to use my potting soil archival ink and I'm just going to use the middle part of the stamp and just lightly press in random places all over the page. I'm now going to use my Paper Artsy Stamps Jofi 36 and I'm using my black archival ink and I'm just going to stamp this chevron all around the outside edge of my page. I'm now going to use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick the fairies onto my page. I'm now using my Forget Me Not archival ink
For my quotes, I'm using the Tim Holtz stamps called Tool Text. I am now using my Derwent Ink Tense pencils and I'm using the Baked Earth one to go around the outside edge of my fairies to make a shadow for them. So this is a pencil and um, you add water to it to turn the pencil into a paint. Once it has dried it will then be permanent. I am now using my food ball pen just to go over the text to make it bolder. I am now going to use my Uniball Signo white pen to add some highlights onto the words. Next I am using the Paper Artsy Stamps EEG 13 and I'm using the little dots and my black archival ink to go around the words with the little dots. So I'm just using my food ball pen to date and sign it and that is this page all finished. I hope you can see it, it's, the metallic paint is a little bit shiny so you're getting quite a bit of glare from it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, if you have please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.